Hi, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to do some sausage. And uh, sausage is probably one of those things that we grill most, um, at least here in Norway. Um, they taste great, they are easy to prepare, and it doesn't cost too much money. Uh, but there are two cardinal sins that we often commit when we, uh, when we grill uh, sausages. Uh, one of them is that we grill, often grill the sausage until they are scorched um, and dried out. And the second is that we serve them with uninspired accessories like ketchup and mustard. Just that. Or perhaps some, uh, some uh, fried crispy onions. Um, to prepare a proper sausage uh, feast, you should avoid these mistakes. Give the sausage the respect it uh, deserves. And that can be done with uh, proper cooking and with some excellent garnish. And today, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna make some uh, caramelized uh, onion for the um, for the, uh, the sausages I'm gonna make today. Um, what you need is um, a red onion, thinly sliced, or you can use uh, any onion you if you like, if you like a yellow one. Uh, you need a teaspoon of brown sugar, some salt and pepper, uh, of course some butter, and um, that's pretty much it. So um, let's uh, fire up the um, frying pan. Okay. As you can see, I finally uh, finally chopped up the uh, the onion into thin slices, um, and when the butter has melted, I'm gonna put it in the pan. Looks like it's uh, just about time to put it in. Remember now, use a uh, low heat. Just saute the uh, the onion until they are soft and soften up. Meanwhile, the, uh, the onions are uh, softening up and uh, sauteing. Let's have a beer. Cheers, good people. Oh, it can always go down. This process will take about uh, approximately 20 minutes, so uh, there's no need to rush. Okay, the um, onion is uh, sauteed down. I'm gonna add some uh, sugar. But, uh, approximately uh, a small tablespoon of sugar. I'm just gonna mix it in. Wait for the sugar to caramelize. Doesn't take too much time. It was fairly quick, actually. Then I'm gonna add some uh, coarse pepper. I'm just gonna crack up some. Mmm, oh, smells good. And some sea salt that I'm uh, grinding up. Mix it all together. Just gonna try a bit. Mm, oh, yeah. 
yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a bit more um, cracked pepper. Just a hinge of more salt. Mmm, this is good. It's a mix between um, sweetness, get some peppers, and the salt. Oh, this will be a great topping for your sausage. I'm gonna have a small test. Yep, that's there. Mm. Yep, this is it. No more. Okay, the um, second thing we're gonna make is the um, chili with um, we're gonna make a relish with the chili and the cilantro. Um, it's not um, hard to make and doesn't take any many ingredients. We started with uh, some cherry tomatoes, um, quarter them up, and um, I'm gonna put them in a little bit later. Then I'm gonna chop up some. Uh, Fine chop up some uh, red onion. This is going to be a good topping for your so uh, hot dogs. Cilantro, chopping it up. First thing you do is to chop up all the ingredients except for the um, chop up and mix all the ingredients except for the tomatoes. Just use a handful. It's a quite a distinct taste, so uh, if you don't like it, you might try something else oregano or uh, some basil or whatever. Okay, um, I'm gonna mix in some uh, garlic, minced garlic, or finely chopped actually. I'm using Chinese garlic, that's the solo one, so uh, just roughly, but one, one clove of garlic is, uh, is enough. Or you can use more if you like. Then uh, I have, uh, have some chili. Gonna put in some sugar. I'm using brown sugar. I think I, I like the taste of it. Just 
Just add your, a little bit of sweetness, you don't have to take too much. Then gonna mix it good. Oh, really nice color, as you can see. Just a little bit of a couple of teaspoons of uh, a tablespoons of uh, olive oil. Just gonna eyeball that one. This is Greek extra virgin oil. It's very good. I didn't take out the seeds in this chili. I need. Uh, I would like to have some uh, sting in it. Bring some heat into this one. I think I have a little bit more oil. Yeah. And of course, salt. Pepper. Now we add the, um, the squared up uh, or the uh, the quartered uh, the, the tomato veggies, the uh, the uh, cherry tomato veggies, veggies. Sorry. Mix it all good. Like this. Oh, this looks good. This is your yum yummy. Have a look at these colors. Have a look at these colors. This is excellent. Okay. Okay, time to prepare for the sausages. I'm gonna make a bear bath for the uh, for the sausages. I'm using uh, whole peppercorn, black peppercorn. I use a coarse uh, cut um, uh, red onion. Also have a, a little, uh, a few slices of chili and a garlic and a bay leaf. I'm gonna pour up some light bear on this. You can use dark bear if you like it. But um, yeah, uh, today I'm gonna use uh, light uh, lager. All right, aluminum form is here. I'm gonna put uh, some bear in. Hmm, I think I need more beer. I'm using Heineken today, it's too light, so I need more. Okay, back for more beer. Okay, got uh, approximately two cans of beer up here, or not approximately, exactly two cans of beer. Okay, I'm going to put a lid on or put it over to the heat, bring it up to a boil. Then I'm going to pull back and then put the sausage in. Okay, have a look at this one. Um, the beer is uh, coming up to a boil. You see the, uh, the onions, the peppercorns, the bay leaf, the chili. Oh, this is going to be good. I can't wait. And um, today I'm going to use this uh, sausage, it's a German bratwurst, it's a raw sausage, so uh, I need to bring it to, um, to a simmer. 
before I uh, give it a few minutes on the on the grill. Okay, I'm gonna put the uh, the raw bratwurst in the uh, beer bath. Now we're gonna let it simmer for uh, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna take it over to the the hot side and grill it. Okay, I'm gonna have the grand finale, have the taste. I'm gonna put the sausage in the bun. Today I'm going to do uh, something special, I'm going to split it in half and uh, taste it. So I can taste both of the, uh, the uh, things to have on this uh, complementaries on the, on the Starting with the caramelized onion. Ooh, looks good. And some crumbled up blue cheese. This looks fine, doesn't it? This is good shit. This is good stuff. Okay, taste. Mmm. That um, bratwurst with the caramelized onion and the um, with with the blue cheese. That is a killer combo. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, what a taste. Mmm. Oh yeah. Definitely would uh, recommend that um, caramelized cheese, caramelized onion with with uh, blue uh, crumbled blue cheese. Mmm. Now we're going to try the um, chili and uh, cilantro uh, relish. Put a generous amount on the, on the top. Look at that. Oh, this is good. Mm, looking forward to this one. Should bring some heat to it with the chili. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. I can feel the chili starting to kick in. It's, this this is good. Oh, this is actually excellent. Mm, mm, mm. This relish actually get better the longer you wait to use it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay, let me adjust the camera just a little bit. This, <clears throat> I hopefully, I really do hope that you try this. Uh, these um, sausages with the toppings and the compound was excellent, especially the uh, with the tomato with the relish with chili. Oh, that was good, excellent. But um, the caramelized onion with the blue cheese, ooh, very good. Hopefully, you try both of them. Please um, subscribe, comment, um, and. First of all, try this recipe. Try these sausages. Get out of that uh, ketchup and mustard uh, habit you have. Okay? Cheers for Norway and thanks for watching.